All right. We, uh, you know, we, we, we've already started some, some interesting experiences here with Dragon's Dogma 2. And I'll make the same joke again now for the fourth time. The two's there somewhere. I was told that this is number two, and I think it's fine, but we'll just say that they forgot to add the two, just like they forgot a way to add a new game. Oh, look at that. So... Uh, what really stinks is that I wanted to go through and ch change my settings to make sure that we were going to get the best possible visuals at a smooth frame rate. Well, in doing so, I skipped some of the opening pre-rendered cutscenes, and um, I cannot go back to the very beginning of the game. So if you want to see those things, they're available anywhere else. It's not like anyone's going to be watching this anyway. So with that, let's just take a quick peek at the settings that we're going to start off with. We are running 4K, maxing it 60 frames per second. No dynamic resolution. We have VSync on. We are doing balanced DLSS, and we have ray tracing on. Uh, all the ambi ambient inclusion, anti-aliasing, uh, screen space. Yeah, I didn't have that on, so let's get screen space on. Mesh quality, high, 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 how you doing? Everything's pretty high. And this is being run on an i9-13900 mobile and a 4080 mobile, 32 gigs of RAM, it's MSI Stealth 17 Studio. And here we go. We're going to pick up basically from where... We get into real-time rendering, actual game stuff. No idea what the lead-up to this is. It is clearly brazen for a pawn. Most of your kind have eyes blank as a cadaver's. Mayhap tis only natural seeing as how you rise from the dead. There's aught different about you, though. Could it be that you fear death just as we mortals do? Having known the story of the first game having played the first game to some you know about 10 15 hours um i know that uh some shit happened dragon came dragon killed my dude took his heart out and went nom 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 ate it and so now we're in arisen and we're here and our job is to kill this dragon and get our gd heart back so there you go don't go watch another video. That's basically all you needed to know. Worry not, Vessel. Three days here, and you'll be longing for death's sweet embrace. Sure. Sure. I mean... Come along, you feckless dullards. You're feckless. You fecker. You feckless fecker. Shoulder hurt. Feel ya. I don't like having to... Press a button to progress someone else's dialogue is kind of weird. Is there aught you require? I don't know. Priority quest set automatically. Learn your place, Paul. No. I don't wanna. Alright, move the camera. I'm gonna have to adjust my controller settings, I think, but we'll worry about that later. We do not have a sprint button at this point. Hmm, yep, that's the weird ass fading in of people. Okay. A little weird. The hole. All right, moving on. Wait, 
slow walking in video games is definitely one of my least favorite things. Do your injuries pain you? Sure. Brain, do not overexert yourself. Okay. This is no place for one of your ilk. Tis harsh beyond measure. Even we pawns are pushed to the brink. You ought not anger the overseer. Let us proceed to the site. Okay. I mean, I was going about doing my thing. All right, so at least... Ah, no more slow walking. I am very happy about that. I feel like I should explore, but also... Mm, I think I just want to push through. Hey, let's talk. Hey. Time for you to get to work. Oh, okay. His shoulder hurts. Or he's itchy. You got crabs? You got shoulder crabs? Pick up a boulder. I mean, okay. Seems, uh... You are prepared to work. Then you all begin by carrying stones out from the station in the back and bringing them here. Okay. <laughs> I like my posture. It's the greatest. I like the way I run. It's so fucking great. Oh man, the lighting in this game is pretty nice. Do I have to hold it? Okay, no, I don't have to hold it. The vicinity is quite cluttered. Pray leak. Audio is pretty good. I am. I'm feeling like uh, it's definitely very cavernous. Uh, what do you want? Or just here? How about on your foot, asshole? A job well done. Yes. Now the next step is to. Got that nose, man. What is this commotion? I don't know. Perhaps we ought to investigate. Sure. You needed the overseer's commands. You heeded. Hmm. Dash B. All right. Uh. I have to figure out. Okay. Switching my profile on my Elite Series 2. Oh my gosh, look at this! Medusa. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Yeah. <laughs> character. Did I choose mage? Is that what I chose? I don't remember. Magic bolt. Grab objects and throw them oh, with the right button. Okay. Uh, where were the boulders? Oh, 
me while you can. After all, your charge awaits you. You cannot linger in this place forever. You have lost your memories. It is surely the work of a fell curse, but worry not. I love it. I love it how he runs like that in the cutscenes too. It's so great. Let us flee. It's so good. It's so good. Flee for your life. Jump. Oh. Okay. Kind of anticlimactic there. Damn, that's pretty. No one could survive a fall from this height. Not even a pawn. Oh, get back. Don't just stand there. Shoot it down. Wow. Okay. Okay, we're a ghost guy or lady. Whatever. Oh wow, okay. I mean it's like that's running a lot better than I expected. So we're just not even calling it two, it's just Dragon's Dogma. I'm not gonna bother with the two. Maybe they'll sell the two as a DLC. Yeah. Yeah. This is very cool. She pale. No. What the? Why'd you kill our our ride, man? Psychopath. I'm afraid of what happens when we get unleashed in the open world. The lighting is just so good. The render quality is so good. <laughs> Damn. Look at the hair. Oh no! Keep your distance, Arisen. Worry not for me. The brine may swallow me whole, but I will not perish. There is a stone not far from here, known as a Rift Stone. Pray, seek it out. If you're truly the Arisen, then our paths will surely cross again. Oi! Are you all right? 
What's happened here? Oh, I didn't do anything. A griffin appears one moment and falls the next. And now you stand before me. Okay. Was it you then? The one who was riding on its back? Yep. It is a wonder you survived. Accompany me to... Oops. I kind of wish I hadn't have chosen the mage, but that's okay. It said I could... I could choose uh, after, but I didn't really see a way to do that. But I was rushing through it just because I wanted to get my settings set. But whatever, I guess... Uh, it's, uh, Exactly is this jail you say you escaped from anyway? I've never heard of such a place. There's certainly not like that here in Burma. Could it be you were held in the neighboring country of Batal? Nay, I suppose that's unlikely. We've been estranged from Batal ever since the war. It is difficult to imagine any citizen of Burma being sent there. Got some shaky shadows. Bye. Goblins! Let's take Use up your LB weapons, and X to activate a weapon skill. Your strength like it by the curative or have a bit of green one. When one of the fiends comes, home, best guard or dodge, else she'll be sore on the morrow. Make use of the slope, it will give you an advantage against their ranks. Employ guard in attacks to get the enemy. That's pretty cool. Finish. are more destructive but will leave you vulnerable so seize your chance to land one the moment the enemy flinches do not let yourself be swarmed by enemies in number best to draw them away from the horde and pick them up one by one watch your enemy's movements carefully There are oft items to be scavenged from. Where are you going? I'll not force you to receive treatment, but I'd. Hey, stop freaking out. You said there were items. I've not, and I count that a blessing. All I know for sure is that it is a beast ever more fearsome than a griffin. One need only look to the miserable state of the village of Mel to see that. Can but hope that the sovereign will rid us of it ere long. Get fired. When an enemy is flinching, you can pick them up. Oh. I dare say Vermin owes much of its prosperity to the sovereigns who have served it over time. Though, personally, I'm just glad to know we've got someone looking out for us. It's over here. Where do you think you're going? Over here. Don't just run off now. Sure I can. Uh, I bought the game. Uh, I can do what I want. All right. I'm coming back, you freaking whiny baby. Hmm. Let's go. Do you, do you sprint? Kind of. Mage view tutorial log book. You know what I do appreciate? A game that lets me pause.
It's a decent sized map. Okay. View tutorial logbook. Mage. Mages use their staves to command a variety of magics. They will learn more powerful spells and mastery increases their indispensable in any party. No matter how they can they rain down magic from afar and exploit elemental weaknesses, but they are also capable of aiding allies with curative magics and empowering enchantment. Press Y to encant Anodyne and conjure a curative sigil healing yourself and any allies within range. Pay close attention to the health of your party and cast Anodyne as needed to heap everyone fighting fit. Encanting. Spells must be encanted before they can be cast, and the more complex or powerful the magic, the longer the time required to encant it will be. Encanting leaves you vulnerable, however, so take care when and where you cast. You can move while encanting, but doing so will increase the time required to ready the spell. Okay. Changing targets. Certain magics will allow the caster to select the target of the spell. While encanting, you can select or switch between targets, be they friend or foe, by using right stick to center the camera on your chosen target. Auxiliary encanting. Attack magics must be encanted before they can be cast, and this takes time. However, you, if you approach a fellow caster while they're, encan while they're encanting and begin intoning the same spell, you can help them to cast it more quickly. This is known as auxiliary encanting, and it will allow you to cast powerful spells with greater frequency. That is very interesting. Okay. Okay. The map. Open the map to view your current location and check the surrounding terrain. Information about places you have previously visited will also be displayed on the map. Let's just look at this. While exploring the wilderness, you will come across a wide variety of materials that can be gathered. Some have uses of their own, but you can also combine materials to create items with beneficial effects that are greater than the sum of their parts. Fantastic. Dashing and stamina consumption. Dashing allows you to move more quickly, but continuously but continuously consumes consumes stamina in accordance with the terrain. Okay. For example, more stamina is consumed when going uphill than it is when going downhill. That makes sense. If stamina reaches zero, you become breathless and exhausted, and your movements are temporarily limited. It is therefore wise to pace yourself to ensure you have the vim. I like it to tackle anything that comes on in your in your face on your in in your way. If the arisen dies, you will be given the option to load from last save, allowing you to resume your adventure, but with a slight increase in the accumulation of the loss gauge from its state at the moment of death. While this option does allow you to continue playing without losing too much progress, having your maximum health reduced puts you at a significant disadvantage. It would be prudent, therefore, to make time to rest at inns and campsites at regular intervals throughout your adventure. So, oh. Mm. So okay. 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 So load from last save will be more close to where you died because it's constantly saving auto saves. And then otherwise you can basically load from the in or from last rest. This makes sense. Okay, any more tutorials you're going to have me look at? I think I did them all right. Are we good? Are you baddies? No. Yo. Welcome, Arisen. Ooh. The pawns have long awaited your arrival. Mm. What is this? 
horns. They bend the knee to you so readily, but then... No. Surely you cannot be the Arisen. You seek the Riftstone, do you not? We can take you to it. Pray. Come this way. Okay. I will follow you anywhere. Seems trustworthy. Before you stands a Riftstone. It is a gate by which we of the Pawn Legion may cross o'er into this world. She pretty. Pray. So am I. Look at that character. Look at the Simply eyes. Look at the collection of the loyal attendant whom you would have serve you. Their cutscene engine is incredible. I mean, it's the same engine, but it. Yes. Yes. <laughs> oh, I love it so much. It's so good. It's a win. Let's go. He's even dirty. Mr. Bad Wolf. Mm, look at the feet. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, such a dick. Uh, yeah. Let's see. Do we have any new voices? The people here are evacuated and safe. The people here are evacuated and safe. The people here are evacuated and safe for the moment. The people here are evacuated. There are more who can yet be saved. The people here are evacuated and safe. Mm, almost, maybe. People here are evacuated and safe for the moment. Okay. And got an extra little detail custom. No, he's fine just the way he is. Let's see if we've got the obvious here. No. Come on, man, really? Uh, Magnum. Um, Misty. Dude, that's great. Misty. Perfect. I mean, just one letter off. It's fine. Misty Bad Wolf. There he is. There he fucking is, dude. <laughs> it's fucking Jay. Uh, I the mean, are travelers of not only this he world, got the eye scar. Like, with which we can connect. Really? Is that true, Mr. Bad Wolf? I did not know this. As your loyal pawn, my duty is to accompany you and yep. use what I learn in these other realms to aid you on your journey. Mm -hmm. Good boy. Very good boy. I shall be with you every step of the way. Yeah. And I hope to put my knowledge and experiences to good use on your behalf. That's right. Well, I'll be a pawn summoning before my very eyes. That's right. You truly are the Arisen, then. Mm-hmm. Well, I'm Arisen, all right. I thought the Arisen was in the capital. Surely there's only meant to be one Arisen. Fie, this is all beyond mm. my ken. Sometimes I can make some, some other people Arisen. 
The watch head would know what to do. I'm sure. Though, as luck would have it, he's away. I suppose we'll save any further questions till the watch head returns. You're free to do as you like before then. How about give me some clothes? What? You've no memories, you say? Mayhap you could make for Melv, then. It was set upon by the dragon not long ago. The Arisen is said to bear some deep connection to the dragon. Should you be Arisen, mayhap you'll recall aught of import there. Mayhaps. This game looks really good. By touching a rift stone, the Arisen can travel to the bridge atwixt worlds, which a great many pawns traverse, traverse as they journey beyond the rift. This allows the Arisen to summon pawns who meet their specified preferences. These pawns will not level up while they are accompanying you. However, so you may find that you need to hire new support. Oh, okay. They're accompanying you, however. So you may find that you need to hire new support pawns at regular intervals. Okay, that's kind of cool. You may contact... Hail, Arisen. Whoa. Pray, ask all you wish to know. I shall answer, if it is within my power to do so. Do you, do you want to come with us? Nomads, we are oft called. Born in other worlds, we travel here by means of the Rift Stone that we might aid you, Arisen. However, I cannot speak as to our true nature, for I know of it not. None of us do. We do not need to. We merely do as we are commanded. Mm. Rift stones are gates that connect this world to a multitude of others. I was hoping for a rotation all the way around. But... By their power have we crossed into this world. And when our mission is done, by their power shall we return to our own. Tis the name given to fate chosen. Those destined to command the Pawn Legion and safeguard the world from the threat of the dragon. Even with your memories lost to you, I am afraid you cannot escape your fate. Very well. May fortune speed you on your way, Arisen. Okay. Um... View tutorial log. The Arisen need never travel alone for pawns are always willing to accompany them. As the Arisen, you will summon and form a covenant with your very own loyal pawn, your main pawn, who will share in your adventure and grow in strength and ability alongside you. You may also enlist the aid of support pawns who serve other Arisen in other worlds, other online players. Pawns are not entirely dependent upon the Arisen's orders and will gather materials and charge into battle on their own initiative. They can be given items from the items menu and are able to use curatives in their inventory to heal themselves as necessary. That's great. I wish they had that in Nightingale. Be sure to hand over any items you would like your pawns to use ahead of time, but bear in mind that the Arisen cannot use items from pawns' inventories. Okay. Pawns have the ability to travel to other worlds and glean valuable snippets of information which they will bring back to their masters. If your pawn has any discoveries to report, they will do so after you have rested in town. Pawns can also put their experiences to practical use, such as guiding you to dungeons and quest destinations. That's so cool. Or showing you where hidden treasure chests can be found. There are some places in this world where, for one reason or another, pawns are not welcome to tread. Should the Arisen seek to enter such a location, they will have to part ways with any pawns whom they are traveling with, but only temporarily. Once the Arisen has left the area in question, their pawns will seek them out in order to rejoin the party. Cool. Pawn Inclinations there are four types of pawn inclinations. When you enter the covenant with your main pawn, you will be able to select an inclination for them. This will determine certain aspects of the pawn's behavior, including their manner of speech and the actions they tend to take. However, 
All pawns serve the Arisen faithfully, regardless of their inclination. Kindred pawns. These pawns are attentive to the Arisen and their abilities and are quick to aid them when they are in need. In battle, they prioritize support, holding down foes and casting beneficial enchantments. Loyal and dutiful, they are devoted to the Arisen and prefer to remain by their side. Calm. These pawns are strategic thinkers who can be counted upon to assist the Arisen no matter the difficulty faced. In battle, they are concerned with survival, favoring defense and evasion, and employing clever tactics to best their foes. Shrewd and efficient, they will dispose of unneeded items in their packs on their own initiative. Hmm. Simple pawns. These pawns are earnest and adventurous and will ensure that the Arisen's journey is filled with new discoveries. As keen explorers brimming with curiosity, they are highly observant and tend to be more concerned with gathering items and examining their surroundings. They are also generous by nature and will often gift their finds to their companions. Straightforward. These pawns are candid and impulsive and are sure to make the Arisen's journey an unforgettable experience. Adept at spotting enemies from afar and blessed with fighting spirit, they are apt to rush headlong into battle, tackling even larger monsters with unflinching courage. Their bold and decisive assaults can turn the tide when all seems lost. Dope. Okay. Okay, I can't. We've done this. Go away. Like, all of a sudden now, it feels like I'm getting less frames, but whatever. Let's go for a ride. Hmm. Uh, that's, that's cool. Okay. Siri. Mm -hmm. Uh, Mr. Bad Wolf is a thief. not really tell me like uh, I guess the symbol tells me but I don't know what the symbols mean so we're just gonna go uh, I see the sword uh, a series and she's a mage uh-huh okay and what are you like some thundercat person mom kind of weird Someone made their mom. Cindy. Hey, Cindy. Cindy, come over here, Cindy. Freya. Level five. I gotta go. I gotta go with the dude here. I mean, he's just got the best. I'll carefully conserve my strength. And endeavor to survive every battle by way of sound strategy and defensive tactics. Or do I have to pay them or some shit? What's this 1620 RC? Mm. Oh, that's okay. So I do have to pay them. I pray my efforts aid your cause. Kind uh I need I wanted to get a crazy person, but if tis discipline your company lacks, I can provide. 
calm. All right. Yeah. I'm just going to be an honor to serve by your side. You're a big fella. I'm down. Let's go. Pawn quests are tasks given to your main pawn to be completed beyond the rift. You set the task and must stipulate a reward for the arisen who hires your main pawn to receive a pawn your task's completion. Wait, what? Pawn quests are given to your main pawn to be completed beyond the rift. You set the task and must stipulate a reward for the arisen who hires your main pawn to receive upon the task completion. Pawn quests provide valuable opportunities for you to obtain items and acquire pawn badges. So you should endeavor to get your pawns hired as often as possible. By setting a reward for the arisen who hires your main pawn to receive, you can either select specific items or nominate a sum of gold. Items will be removed from your inventory. Gold will be subtracted from your funds. It is also possible to trade with other arisen by selling the retrieval of items you desire as the pawn quest. Setting the retrieval of items you desire as the pawn quest objective. Huh. Okay. I have nothing to share at present. Okay. Let's uh can we, can we go back here? Oh no. Oh <gasps> that's great. That's great. So everyone in the odd gamers if they have Dragon's Dogma, can employ, we'll say, Mr. Bad Wolf for whatever services. Obviously, on stream, there's only certain things that you can do, but, uh, you know, not always streaming. All right, fellas. I'm gonna have to keep Mr. Bad Wolf away from you, my friend. Did I make this son of a bitch taller than me? I just have bad posture. I did make myself I did make myself too short, but that's okay. I don't give a shit. Alright, so uh Yeah. We have a marker on the map. question also I have is how do I how do I put some clothes on or at least have some more powerful protection oh wrong propaganda at my wares yeah you shan't regret it okay shot how about Hmm. Hope to see you again here long. Okay. No, let me go. Bye bye. Caught your eye? That's a shame. Let's hope there's aught worth. Auto save data cannot be relied upon to save your progress in this world. It is recommended that you rest at inns at regular intervals if you wish to ensure the reliability of your saved data. That's. I'll call you next time. Gold is a resource best spent judiciously. What did he say his name was again? Ah, Humphrey. The lad's in Vermont. Hoi there. You seem well tired. Tell you what, you can stay here tonight free of charge. I'll expect coin from tomorrow, mind. Okay. My pa always used to say, there's naught a good night's sleep can't fix. Not much else I can offer, I'm afraid, but you'll find all sorts at a finer inn. Okay. Aye, being armed is better than being defenseless, even if you're untrained. Still, it is worth devoting yourself to a vocation if you can. Opens up new doors, it does. You should stop by the inn in Melv if you get the chance. No hard feelings if you prefer it. There's in much more to offer. In Melv, which is my next 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 destination. Staying in an inn fully restores your party's health and stamina. It also recovers the loss gauge, which 
represents a reduction in your health and accumulates when taking damage. When resting at an inn, you can choose whether to rise in the morning or at night, useful if you need to set out at a particular time. Foresighted adventurers will stay at inns regularly to avoid risks when traveling far afield. Okay. Aye, being armed is better than being defenseless. You should stop by the inn in Melv if you get the chance. No, we must rest, though the sun is still up. What are more add-ons uh, acquired? The okay. diligence has borne fruit at last. They do say good things come to those who wait. Mr. Leveled Up. They do say good things come to those who wait. Yep, that's right. Uh, view quest list. Okay, so we do have a quest list. That's cool. You've heard word that the dragon attacked Melv. Make for the village and witness the aftermath for yourself. Uh, okay. I would like some clothes, please. You'll find none lighter on their feet than a thief. I'm sure my talents will be of use to you. Okay. Sure. I already have a thief. But Capcom sent you, so all right. Let us work together to honor the Arisen's trust. Now there's a worthy prize, if only it went so far away. So I got three homies with me now. Alright, so... We're running low on everything. From provisions to crafting materials for weapons and armor. We've had a hard time procuring goods, what with all the monsters lurking on the roads alone. I sent Marcus to gather what we need, but I've just taken stock, and I fear the list I gave him was incomplete. Mm. What say you? Could I trouble you to run an errand for me? <laughs> You'll be paid, of course. Mm -hmm. Glad to hear it. Here, take this list of additional supplies to Marcus. He ought to be somewhere north of here. Hand him the note, and he'll take care of the rest. Setting a priority quest, you could select a quest to prioritize from among those you have acquired. If the quest destination is known, a marker will be placed on your map to indicate it. Furthermore, if you have a pawn in your party who possesses knowledge of that particular quest, they will be able to guide you to your objective. However, pawns with such knowledge will not offer guidance unless the quest is set as a priority. Okay. So I'll set I'll set it as a priority. I, I, you know what a priority, though, for me is? Pressing the wrong button all the time. I can hardly believe it. A griffin of all things here. Add to that the recent dragon sighting. It is said that the arrival... Should your pack grow over full... It's Justin Bieber! I'll lighten your load by spreading it out among us pawns. Hmm. How many of these assholes can I hire? Ah. Although. I have a knack for combining materials that I hope you'll find useful. I'll craft all I can. I don't. Back off, buddy. I'm a little too eager. It's not that. Uh, not what I'm looking for. I am attentive and loyal, and prefer Ooh. to remain by your side. Oh, yeah, I bet battle, you do. I shall follow your... 
Is, does nobody sell uh, clothes? Oh. You, oh, that's the stone. The bed. Ah, well, let's look over here. Okay. What is it, weirdo? What are you doing? Why are you running around, weirdo? Oh, there. Faring all right. Any clothes? Whatever you need, I'll have it done. Okay. Um. What can I do? Close. Well met. Okay. Oh, hey, 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 go. Cool. Yep, pretty stylish. Pretty stylish. I like it. All right, hold on. Hold on. Let's, uh. Why do we have a red box with a little? Is there something that makes it so I can't use it? It's definitely not like. Okay. Yeah, I mean that that looks definitely more ridiculous, so I definitely I need to go with that. Okay. Do I need to like do my whole order? Okay, I can do the whole order thing. Got it. Uh yeah, a robe. Cool. Dope ass robe. Uh we can't customize it. No. No. Uh, okay, good. Just, just, the uh, just the boots. And, uh, um, uh, wooden staff. We already have that. Um, so go to, go to checkout. Okay. Purchase. Sure. All right. Let's uh, let's sell some of the stuff that we borrowed from next door. Right. Always a pleasure. Shopping is such fun. We ought to have enough supplies to last us a while now. He's as you say. Oh, you know, though, so where was the one guy? Yeah. Look, master, a treasure chest. Have a gander at my wares. You shan't regret it. We're gonna buy a camping kit. Oh, no, we're not. Modest camping kit. We'll buy one of those. Hope to see you again here long. All right. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go to our quest and we're going to. So ultimately I need to go north east. Okay. I'm at the moment back. I'm make it a point here. I mustn't let the captain see my knees. Okay. 
All right, not like that. Life's been good to no, me so far. Let us endeavor to keep hmm. up, though we are less fleet of foot. Well, how exactly are we expected? Return to world map. Where? Oh, okay. So we need to get out here. I see. Yes. Wait, wait, wait. You can close the door on us. Master, it would be prudent to rid yourself of any excess items. Perhaps it is time we returned to our base of operations and deposited some of our. What are you. F what are you talking about? Um, yeah, I don't. Items. Oh, wow. Give. Give it to the big fella. Okay. Ingredients are plentiful hereabouts. No harm in picking a few. All right, get picking there, Mr. Bad Wolf. You don't have to just sit there and announce it, dude. Do something. Big guy, you're fine. So you're telling me none of you other NPCs has uh, done this basic ass side quest before? You're supposed to be telling me, like, how to do it. Not really stoked with the way this water looks. Debilitations. Debilitations are negative status with effects that range from inflicting damage to that's steady intervals to making the target vulnerable. Okay. So we can't get wet. Drenched. I'll gather these now. It would be a shame to forget their location when we need them most. Yeah, get them. I appreciate you. All right. So we don't want to be wet. Makes sense. You just got to learn these things. You got to... Sometimes you got to roll up your wizard sleeve and... And uh, just get in there, you know what I mean? It hangs like wizard sleeve. Materials such as this can be combined to craft things. Oh. I'm sure we'll find a purpose for it in due time. It must be. Where the hell is this dude? Oh, I. That's everything assembled. A job well done, if I do say so myself. You're not done. Oi! Did you need something? Mm hmm. It's something, but yeah, I needed summit. Yep. This is from Sir Jeffrey, is it? Mm -hmm. Let's have a look then. Let's have a look then. Why? He wants these as well, does he? I thought I was finished. Why should I have to do all this on my own? I've got plenty to carry as teeth. Say, 
Your arms look free. You can handle that list in my stead. And make haste. I would depart for the encampment even a moment sooner. Well, go on. You know what to do. Combining materials. You can combine two materials to create a new item. When combining, you can either choose the materials individually or select a combination that you have previously tried. You can also prioritize the inventory you want materials to be taken from first. The Arisens or their pawns. Okay. We should begin by asking ourselves, where is it and how can we get it? Some harsh buds and salu. Okay. Come to think of it, some masters rearranged their party at the drop of a hat. One such arisen dismissed me after only half a day of service. I'll be sure to keep that in mind. Oh, what are you, where are you picking this shit up? I don't see anything to pick up. Hey. Okay. How much do I need? Three horror spuds and two for Marcus. Okay. Maybe I need to gather them myself. Arse buds, salu, salu, Prius trap. I didn't see that. Ah. Uh, oh. Oh, I have one. Oh, I have to make. Hey. That was a guess. So I wonder if that counts. I have three horse buds, but they're, I mean, they're not just horse buds. Let's see what we got here. Bring warish. She don't have shit. Don't we have a report to make, Master? Okay, so it does count. 
I am kind of feeling this game so far. It's not definitely not perfect. Far from perfect. Your ability to trip over nothing never ceases to amaze me. Oh, don't mind me. These things happen. Yeah, Jay. Hmm. How goes it? Have you gathered everything on the list yet? Yeah. Haven't you anything for me yet? Well, you best get to it then. How goes it? Have you gathered everything on the list yet? Oh, uh, I see. That's kind of weird. Yeah, that's that's a little. I mean, maybe it would have been easier to do with a mouse, but they tell you not to use a mouse, so that's like many systems bad. Brilliant. On you, I could count. And that's okay, though. That's something that can be changed, hopefully. Here, take this for your trouble. I'll be heading back to the encampment now. They'll be expecting. I would like very much to not have to continue the conversation. You gave Marcus the provisions. Okay. And now I need to go back to Joffrey. Travel together for a day and night to Maurice. Okay. Not a foe in sight. Keep on your toes. A fiend might jump out when we least expect it. That's right, Jay. Tell us. Why are the doors closed? Why are the doors closed when I come home? Messed up. Mmm, you should probably lay off the smack there, pal. Oi, many thanks for passing on that list to Marcus for me. Mm -hmm. As I hear it, you even assisted him in gathering the supplies. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I hope it wasn't too much trouble. Was. Anyway, you've been a great help. I hope I can count on your aid again should the need arise. Our efforts have seen the encampment resupplied and Sir Geoffrey with one less care. A good deed all round. Oh, I like that. Mr. Bad Wolf's leveling up. Okay. Make for Melba. So let's uh, get out of oh, here again. Well uh, met. Mm -hmm. Hail, you a soldier? Mm -mm. It would be a surprise to see you arrive in one piece if not. Hordes of monsters have been plaguing this area of late, you see. We've had to start sending out new recruits to cull them. Is that so? Who went yonder? Lachlan. But I dare say he'll fare all right. Aye, I expect he will. Who was sent out that way then? Accardo. To be honest, sir, I'm a little worried for him. What? Weren't harpies reported in that area? I can't handle those beasts on his own. This is the first I'm hearing of it. Fine. I want to go to his aid, but we can't just abandon our posts. Say, 
You seem stout of heart. Would you be willing to go in our stead? It isn't far. Only a short ways out from the main gate. You've my sure. thanks. Anacardos as well, I'm sure. A warning regarding quest progression. Some quests are affected by the passage of time and will progress even without the Arisen's involvement. Taking on multiple quests at once comes with a risk of being unable to act in time, and this can result in unintended consequences. Try to bear that fact bear the factor of time in mind when managing your current quests and taking on new ones. Our aid is required, Master. Let us depart with due haste. Okay. We are going the correct direction. If you can weather a harpy assault unaided, shall we hasten to Sir Ricardo's rescue? Ah, oh, yes. I know just where to find this person. Follow me. Well, okay. now, isn't this lucky? Someone who knows the way. All right, Danielle. Danny. Oh, Danny girl. Uh, I will follow you because I, I don't have any other pawn commands. There are four commands that the Arisen can use to direct their pawn companions, and your effects vary according to the circumstances in which they are used, such as when... In or out of combat. The best way to get a feel for each command is to observe your pawn's response and of in course oh my gosh, I'm tired. Course of that situation. Okay. Go. Act independently of the arisen. During combat, it directs pawns to spread out across the battlefield. To me, wait. To me where they are until they are given a drink drink. Direct pawns to cease attacking and focus on aiding the arisen directly. Indirectly. Okay. Shoplins approach! We have no means of exploiting our enemy's weakness. No sense letting the enemy gain the upper hand. The early Griffin gets the worm, as they say. That's not good. Get them all. <clears throat> the music would say no. Oh, yep. Okay. Very cool. I mean, <clears throat> is that all of them? Still kind of wish I hadn't used the mage, but. I'm starting to get the hang of it. I understand it now. You have my thanks. Please. I do not believe for a moment I could have slain those creatures without your help. I've only just enlisted, and when I thought this could be the end of me, I... I was paralyzed. You saved me this time, but I won't always be so fortunate. I'll have to train harder, till I have the confidence to face such beasts on my own. Well, I'd best be heading back. But I'll be sure to let my superiors know of your good deed. I hope we meet again someday. We 
report back now. All right, that's uh, yeah. This this seems pretty great. Not perfect. Not even close. Okay. Well, screwed up. There are useful ingredients to be gathered here, I'll wager. Shall we see if there ought to be found while we're here? Go for it. This arisen here at last. Hey, old friend. Many thanks for aiding Ocado. It was a relief to see him return. The controller is vibrating. Aye, <laughs> <laughs> that it was. Oh, it's might so good. Bit back alive, had you not intervened. It was a bit too early for him to be seeing actual combat. That much was made well clear. That was funny. We'll be extending his training period. The instructors here are well known for whipping recruits into shape with their grueling regimes. <laughs> Speaking of training regimes, I must admit I've half a mind to ask you to join us. He's just we staring at someone me. With your experience. So pissed. You mad, bro. You you mad. You mad, Mr. Bad Wolf. Huh? You pissed off? Yeah. Get back up here. Come on. We go for a right. That's right. You level up. We're gonna go change your diet. Now there's a worthy prize. Yeah. Love it. Love it. Can I pick this guy up? <gasps> Really now? You mustn't shirk your duty, lest you forget to the arisen we serve here. Yeah. Serve me. I just noticed a little dots for the uh the path, the best best path to go. That oh, you know what we should do? Let's go ahead and take a little uh snappy poo. Wonder how much it costs to uh, how much it costs to sleep? I've beds to spare if you're looking for lodgings, and if you'd like to change your vocation, come see me anytime. Hmm. Give gift. Thousand gold. Shit, dude. Okay. Always a pleasure. I am concerned about what time it is. Uh, how do I know what the time is in game? Hmm. Don't see any obvious indicators. Well, shit. Sun's pretty high. Uh, just have to assume that we'll be good to uh, make it to our destination before. Wager our merry band can handle whatever comes. If we need only hone our skills, and in time we shall be indomitable. Yeah, indomitable. Mm -mm. So we want to go forward and we want to hang a left. Indeed, you are correct. Ah, son of a bitch. 
Oh my gosh. The map kind of pisses me off a little bit. How do I zoom in? Um, I'm zoom. Okay. I'm here. We're on our path. Going forward. Clearly that was the left I was supposed to make. No. I'm so confused. Okay. Back to the fucking road. Oh my god, the fucking map. Like, you go to press forward, and you can't go forward until you go out. That's idiotic. I see. All right, so we're going this way. Fine. Y'all are up my ass, man. Look, master. Goblins. We have no means of exploiting our enemy's weakness. Uh. That was pretty easy. Not compares to the thrill of victory. One cannot help but feel indomitable. Well, I'm sure there's still room for improvement. This is great. Sweet. I'll hold on to this. After all, an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. An ounce of weed is worth about three hundred dollars. Have you forgotten something arisen? You're looking rather lost. I enjoy tackling fierce foes and prefer combat's thrills to gathering items. I am confident. And may act independently. Cool. I was just kind of curious what you thought about yourself. That's all, you know. Like, uh, glad you got Look, that Master, cleared up. A treasure chest. We shall have to find a way to reach it. Okay. Well, everybody. Are you? Are, well. It's on the map because you said it. You know it's awesome? You don't have to press jump to mantle. You just hold forward. Okay.
Oh, that's cool looking. We're not going this way, but. It's no more or less than what one might have expected. We cannot Pretty. expect gleaming treasures round every corner. Yeah, tell them. I think the beauty in this game's environments are in the expanse. You gotta kind of like not get too focused in on the details. It is very pretty in action. And when you have control, it feels nice. It's not overly light controlling. It's just that nice little balance of like realistic feeling but, uh, obviously, you know, it's not going after true realism. Let's see what we're doing here. So we, ugh, the map is annoying. So I'm pressing up on the stick. I, it, you can't, maybe I have to wait for it to load in. Is that what I'm doing here? No. So I press up. I just have to wait. Okay. Whatever, it's fine. It is annoying, though. Okay. Indeed. The dragon truly is calamity incarnate. Mayhap a walk through the streets would help jog your memory. Pitiable. I've a selection of wares that's sure to please. Hmm. I'm afraid to sell anything. I don't know to see you again. what I'm going to need. It takes two to make a sale, and this seller had nothing to tempt us with. Our funds are better spent elsewhere. Browsing was enough to scratch the itch in my case. Cool. The controller is vibrating. Got really good vibration in this game. Dope. How do I? 
All right button to defend. Okay. Sweet. Uh-oh. I'm like, no! Don't hurt her, she's too pretty. I will fling my sword against you. I will do nothing. Oh, wow. It's so cool. Like, the cutscenes are amazing. Stabbing an heart. Ow. Now you're getting a nom on it. I think that'd be very filling. Can you hear me, sir? Sir, stay with me. I wish my beard looked that good. Even somewhat close to that. Thank goodness. How are you feeling? This is the second time I've watched over you like this, isn't it? Pray, save your thanks. Tis only just that I should aid you in turn. After all, it is only by your courage that I live today. Had you not leapt between me and that dragon, I know you suffered for it. Such ghastly wounds. And I could not hear your heart beating. It was a miracle that you survived. Arisen, I'm afraid I don't understand your meaning. My cock's hard. <laughs> Does it have aught to do with why you were taken to the castle? They said twas so that your wounds could be treated, though I fear you have no memory of this either. Yeah. We are to part so soon then. Mayhap you will visit me again someday. Yeah, I'll visit them well, them heavy heavy boulders you're holding there. Ah, excellent. You must be the one. You match my soldier's description. I'm glad I found you. The ruler of Vermont, currently convalescing in the capital, became arisen here in this very village. If you claim the same, then word must be borne to the capital. I dispatched a missive before coming here, 
though I doubt the matter can be settled without your presence. Would you be willing to accompany me to the capital? If you truly are arisen, you will be received with open arms. Mm -hmm. Are you sure about that? Oh, but forgive me. I scattered my soldiers in a bid to find you. I would not depart without them. We shall have to wait till they are reassembled. Come to think of it, Sir Leonard was asking after you as well. Mayhap now would be a good time to speak with him. Last I saw, he was having a drink at the inn. Okay. Who might have the answers we need? Shall we ask around? Oh, have you some business with the apothecary, sir? Dreadful sorry if I was in your way. Uh, you were not in my way. Oh, no. I'm not lost or not, sir. You needn't worry yourself on my account. Wasn't worried. I'm an apothecary in training, you see. My family runs a little shop in Vernworth. Okay. So when I heard tell of a medicine only to be found in this village, I thought I'd come and fetch some for us. Me, but well, as luck would have it, I've not enough gold for the medicine. Mm-hmm. It will be a shame to return empty-handed after coming all this way. Twelve. What more can I do? You'd do that. Mm. You'd get the medicine for me. Mm. I suppose there's no harm in that. If you're really sure. Oh, I'd rather sir, just give her gold. I'd be most grateful. Seems my luck's not as rotten as I thought. I'll wait right here for your return, sir. And many thanks for your kindness. We could make the fruit reborrant ourselves or simply purchase them at Runa's Apothecary here in Mel. I think I get the idea. Fruit Roborant. Ah, well met. Here for some fruit Roborant, are we? Whoa, 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 whoa. I never wanted a fucking iron sword. Definitely didn't want nine of them. Yeah, I'm just going to get the one I need. All right. Do come again. What's Plan on it. See this delivered? I bought your shit. Hello again, sir. Say, have you brought some fruit robberant for me? Yep. Oh, so this is what it looks like. Brilliant. Many thanks, sir. I haven't much to offer in return, but I'll be sure to tell Grandfather what you did for us. Cool. He'll want to reward you proper like, I'll bet. One could not have hoped for a gladder outcome. Miss Bad Wolf leveled up. Let's go, Miss Bad Wolf. Good job, buddy. This is this. This might be worth a read. It couldn't hurt to take a peek. What's my what's a read? Read what? 
This. Don't stumble around in the dark. Outfit yourself with one of our fine lanterns. I have a lantern. Um, is it, this is the in, huh? Yeah. Well, Matt, you're the one who saved Ulrika's life, aren't you? She told me all about it. It was a very brave thing you did. I'm in your debt. Ulrika's as good as my daughter. Here, consider this a small token of my gratitude. Now, tell me, are you registered with a guild? Perhaps you already know this, but registering with a guild will grant you access to specialized training, which comes in very useful when pursuing a vocation. Well now, that won't do. You need only speak with the innkeeper to register. Go on, it will only take a moment. If there is aught you wish to know of vacations, mayhap I can advise you. I mean, I'm already a mage. Why would I want to switch? It is a vacation for those who seek to master the sword and shield. Fighters favor a balanced approach, excelling in both offense and defense, and can adapt to any situation. I am a fighter myself, and should there come a time when you impress me with your prowess, I might be willing to impart unto you some of what I know. I mean, I get... Should you dedicate yourself to a vocation, you will find that new paths to master will open up to you over time. Try them as you like. Very well. There is no wrong choice in any case. It is entirely up to you which vocation you adopt. But I shan't take up any more of your time. Pray be well. The Meister's Teaching. The Meister's Teaching is the most powerful skill that can be acquired by each vocation. Learning a Meister's Teaching requires the use of a special tome, which you will receive if you impress the vocation Meister with your abilities. However, the true potential of this skill can only be realized by those whose vocation rank is high enough. You learned it, okay. Let's, uh, man, I'm going to always we press the jump button. It's a vocation for those who seek it. I get so few customers, you see, that I can manage both roles myself. But enough about me. Did you need something? Shan't hear me complain about an early repose. They're all standing around and waiting for this. Oh, yeah. See, like I just don't like that. There, someone said something. I don't need to morrow, clear it. Off we go then. Just go forward. Why are you stealing? Oh, you're a thief. That's why you're stealing shit. Fair enough. I wish they would have showed the orgy we had last night. That would have been kind of fun. Mm. You sore, buddy? This is for you, master. Okay. I thought it might come in useful. Thanks, pal. What'd you give me? Well, on that note, I think we're going to call it a night for our first playthrough on launch day of Dragon's Dogma 2. It's been a lot of fun. We got to be introduced to Mr. Bad Wolf, the companion. And uh, we threw him around a couple times, which is always fun. Mari, who belongs to another player of Dragon's Dogma. And he's a pretty cool looking dude. You can tell that he actually was... It seems like he was created uh, with the early access character creator. As I did with my character, Mr. Bad Wolf. 
And Daniela, who's a Capcom uh, generated uh, in game non real world player owned pawn. So, anyway, appreciate everyone for stopping by. We're going to be doing some videos on things I really enjoy about this game, keeping an eye on all updates as they continue to put out patches to smooth things out. But, you know, for all it's worth, uh, 4080 laptop i9-13900 did a damn good job playing this game at 4K, and I don't think I ever went down to, uh, did I go down to performance mode? No. I never did. I just kept it at balance. Then it was pretty good. It was pretty good. I'm curious about taking that to performance and raising up the shadow quality. We'll do some playing. But for the third time, thanks for stopping by, Grade A Gamers. I appreciate you enjoying this Dragon's Dogma 2, and I hope to see you in the next video.